Hey guys, how you doing? It is Monday, January 28th, and today basically, basically schools didn't have schools. They closed down, I guess, almost every school in the county, because over the weekend, Saturday, we got snow, and then it stopped, and then Sunday, we got more snow, stopped, and then it came back, and... I looked out the window last night and seen that snow was covering the ground and it's like, gee, you know, and it was weird and then today I woke up and my mom was home. She works at the school she was home. She said she didn't have any class today because they canceled school and the colleges were closed until noon and they opened up again. The colleges did. So... I'm pretty sure they're gonna have to score tomorrow because I had to go out to the to the dentist at noon today, and me and my dad were walking out the door so he could take me to the dentist. Um, the snow was getting slushy. It wasn't thin. It was like a, like like a slushy. Like when you get those slushy drinks, that's what it, what it felt like. Just really slush. It wasn't that cold out. It was kind of I would say like in the 40s, 30s, and 40s, because it, because right now it is 36 degrees out, so that's weird. And all the snow is starting to melt off, so I know they're gonna they're gonna have school tomorrow and all that. Um, I went to this, and my teeth are clean and healthy. I got no cavities, thank God. I I don't know about you, but I'm sure everybody can agree with me. I do not like. The dinners. I don't mind talking to the ladies, but I don't like it. The one thing I like about the dentist is when they go in and with the um, polisher or with the electrical toothpaste thing, and they shine they I guess they shine your teeth up it's like a massager thing with toothpaste on it. That I like. I don't like the picker. I don't like really care for the flossing because I'm like Ugh, and the ding. You know, I just don't. One thing I like about the pickers, where they pick, the, clean your teeth, and make sure you don't got no cavities, I do not like that one bit at all. But I have to do what I have to do, because I hope I'm hoping to keep my own teeth until until I'm ready to be buried six feet underground. You know, that's what I'm hoping anyway. Anyways, after that, I went. I I decided to go to Walmart because. I haven't been out of the house for a long while now, and I just said, hey dad, can we go to Walmart, because I want to look around for a bit, and my dad said, yeah, sure, we went to Walmart, he stayed in the car, he told me, just take your time, don't worry about rushing back out here, I said, okay, wait for you, I'm like, oh, okay, so I went to Walmart, just to look around, because I wanted to see if they had any, um, because I've seen some lady. Um, when some ladies have these, uh, that do scrapbooks, have these, like, uh, scotch, uh, he's, uh, called, d um, it's called scotch adhesive dry glue, or fast glue, where the scotch adhesive glue, but it dries real fast, and I'm trying to find it, I couldn't find it, and then I'm just looking at some other stuff, and I bought some stuff, it's scrapbook related, so, what I'm going to do is, since this is vlog, I'll put this as a, um, a vlog and scrapbooking thing combined, so, so you don't have to do this in my boring vlog, you know, I can find, you can do some, inter some interesting, an interesting thing, that I don't know what I'm saying, an <laughs> interesting vlog mix scrapbooking. I, I just... I was looking around, I wasn't, since I couldn't find that glue, I wasn't looking for anything in particular. Um, I picked up these, I'm not in the Smash books, but I've been trying to find some like journaling cards, journaling cards, or some kind of tag that I can do some journaling, a little bit of writing on my hair this album, and I picked three of these up, and all three of these little Smith tags were a dollar seventy-five, and 
I'm going to show you. This one is called Special Occasions. And it, from Decay and Company Smash. I guess it's the tags. And these are, I guess they come in three, they have three of each design. So that I can use, for special occasions, I can use this to look my hair to the album. You know. So. Like they have the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's three, it's three of each design, and it's 30 sheets of these on here. I just saw this, and I decided to pick it up. We did from like my journaling. They said the best part was, the best part was, I can do these for journaling, so. So, yeah, you get, and then decorative details. Yeah, so, that's what that is. See what else they have. Um, this is called, I like this one, Best or, or Worst Birthday Ever. <laughs> we had one of, we had some of those, haven't we? Best or Worst Birthdays Ever. So we had some of those in our lives, didn't we? I know I had a few. I had one when I was eight years old. I had the worst birthday. I remember when I was eight years old. I had, I was so excited about my birthday, but a day before that, I've been starting to cough up so much, cough up so much. But I remember my mom said, oh, let's cancel your birthday party and we'll do it some other time when you feel bad. I said, no, 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 I want my birthday party. I want my, I just kept coughing, 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 and coughing. I couldn't enjoy my birthday party. And the next, the day, the next day, my mom made an appointment. I went in and the doctor found out I had pneumonia. And that's when I was eight years old and I had to go to, I had to go to the hospital for 10 days. I was stuck in the hospital for 10 days with a, with a plastic sheet over my head. I, in a hospital bed with a plastic sheet over my head so the humidifiers or whatever could help get out of that gunk out of my lung, the pneumonia out of my lung. Because if I didn't go there to the hospital, I probably wouldn't be doing too great. I probably wouldn't probably even be here right now to tell you the honest truth with that pneumonia I had. So. Alright, okay, enough of that. So, I get the second one I got is favorite person. And I thought it was for like dogs and cats because I have a dog and a cat because I'm going to do a dog and cat scrapbooking album. And I thought that's what it is until I looked in here. And it wasn't really about animals. Like, this one says, My favorite thing about you. Has numbers one through eight. Yeah, I thought you'd be kind of neat for here to albums and funniest thing you ever said. I'm trying to be fast here. Let's see. Um, oh, this one drive me crazy when you drive me crazy when you and they have that dog and the cat. And uh, I might use this for the um, pet albums because animals we love them, but they drive us crazy, don't they? My favorite memory of us, little squirrel. I think yeah, there's the squirrels or the chipmunks. I think they're chipmunks. Can't say right, chipmunks. Um, our favorite snacks. I don't know what I'll use this one for, but maybe for like here to own. When I first met you, I I thought you were can't. I don't know if you guys can see that really well. No, let me put, uh, let me try auto focus again. Um, and one more. Um, this is called Family. I just picked up three of these because they were like a dollar. Your childhood, like first home, earliest memories, 
favorite kid food, favorite toy, pet, best friend, what you want to be. Sorry about that, guys. My camera's acting up. It does not want to focus. There we go. Now it's kind of focusing. There we go. Um, I'll look at some other ones. Um, oh, I like this one. A typical family gathering looks like. And then there's the writing you can do. Uh. So yeah, these are pretty neat. I like the... There was a... The kind of parent I want to be. I don't know what I would use for these, but probably for... No, I just saw these and thought I could use them for something, like my scrapbook album. But I just picked them up because I wanted to try these for tags out, and this is the three of them. And... I was looking around, and I just came across this. It's the... X... X Zeron or oh, the Zeron sticker maker and it's and this is it. This cost me about uh eight bucks. And they had a bigger one of these a bigger one is I think called the X the Zeron sticker maker max. And it was like a bigger, a little bit bigger of a box. About this, from this here, the here, and a little bit wider. And I was getting, I was going back and forth on this because I didn't know if I wanted to get a sticker maker. But I thought with some of the stuff I cut out with my um silhouette cameo, the little stuff, I can use this. And I've been watching a couple of YouTube videos about this. It says that it's perfect for ribbons, letters, and buttons, small paper shapes, and small embellishments. So I could use this for like th some of the little booties things that I showed you in that 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 video that I won a prize. I can use that for this. And I was gonna get the big one, but I thought, am I gonna use that very much? No, so I thought I'd get the smaller one because. It will say room, and I probably won't use this for a lot of, only for like like my small little letters, my fonts that I put out with my cameo. I can even probably use that for this, you know. So I, I picked it up, you know, and I picked up the refill for that. This is a twenty foot six point one millimeter. I think is a it's an a permanent permanent adhesive. So, I'm going to give that a try. And this was, we filled with five bucks. And I'm glad I got this because this was eight bucks. This was five bucks. If I got the, the bigger one, it would have been 20 bucks. And the refill would have been 10 bucks. So that was like, I'm not going to pay that, that much for something I might not use very much of. So, and the last thing I got was, I've been looking, like you see right here. This is my mom's, um, Matt is her ro 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 rotary cutting mat. And this is what she used to do when she did her sewing back in the day. She, but she gave me this because I've been looking for a cutting mat, but I didn't want to pay a lot of money. But I was looking at Walmart and I saw this exacto prison, precision, exacto. Precision Instrument Designer Series, and it is a self-healing 12 by 12 craft mat. And they didn't have any other colors except this pink and black one, and I did not really care for the pink and black one. There we go. And it's a 12 by 12 little cutting mat, and it's self-healing because I was asking people on scrapbook.com if. They know of any healing, um, cutting mat, but self healing, and this is what it is. It is self healing, but I wish they had like a blue or black one. It would have been, you know, my favorite color to get. But I can deal with the bright, dark 
whatever kind of pink, you know, I can deal with it. You know, I'm man enough. I'm man enough to deal with having a little pink in my room, am I? Yeah. Yeah, so that's my little, if you want to call it, my little Walmart haul, because I got all these at Walmart. And I was just looking around, you know. And what's really funny is I was just looking at some good, because I, like I said before, I was trying to find that, that scotch dry adhesive, bath dry adhesive glue. Couldn't find it. And then I looked, and I'm like, what the heck? Should I get here and look at this before I ordered it? from joanne.com. Remember that haul I showed you with the undo remover? Well, lo and behold, it was sitting right there with all the other glue, the undo, undo adhesive remover. I thought, so next time, if I want to get another bottle, if they still have them down there, I can run down there and check and see if they still got them. And I don't have to wait for my order from joanne.com to get undo because they don't have them in a lot of stores, but I saw them at Walmart, so I'm like, no, I don't know why they don't sell them at Joanne, but they have undo adhesive removal at Walmart. I'm like, wow. So, yeah, that's all I did pretty much. Just did a little shopping, came home, been kind of lazy. Haven't been, I'm going to try to do some scrapbooking. I did some punching with some extra, I used my button punch, button chain punch that I showed you in my last haul that I got from joanne.com. I've been new, punching a lot with that with some white and some greens and some black and some pattern paper from scraps and my scrap stash that I had. been doing that. I did a little bit of it last night when I was just sitting here watching Hulu and all that. And I just got done watching which at the little I can't talk. Switch at birth, and that's a pretty, going to be a pretty interesting show, you know. It's it's really interesting, and I'm glad they had some shows where they show about the deaf and hurdy, the deaf and hurdy thing world, you know. And I'm not, you know, I just, I still just find it interesting, you know. It's, it's really interesting to see that on TV nowadays. I'm glad TV, show, TV shows nowadays are trying to not just do like, the norm thing. They're trying to branch out in a different social and cultural mainstream of television, you know. And they have to, you know. I think they have to do that and they want to get good shows on TV to keep people's interest. I don't know what is going on with my webcam. It is going in and out and out. It's like drives me nuts. I gotta probably find better lighting for this. I don't know. So anyway, guys, it's going on 18 minutes now, and I think I talked you here off long enough. So this vlog is probably going to be a vlog and haul combined. It's just a boring, rambling, like, oh, nothing going on in my life kind of vlog. But I thought you guys wouldn't mind seeing my face again. You know? All right, guys. You have a good week. Have a good night. And... I will catch you later. Bye.